Good morning, and welcome to the recordings for the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Permission to podcast and stream the music in this recording is obtained from one license, license number A724535. All rights reserved. What about that? That was very professionally done. Thank you. <laughs> So welcome everybody, for it's, it's once again our second week of, of offering music for this upcoming weekend. And uh, this weekend coming up is the 15th Sunday of Ordinary Time. And uh, it's so funny to, we know that Ordinary Time doesn't mean that it's ordinary. Um, but it, it's certainly the days that we've been going through and walking through together are extraordinary times. Uh, so this coming weekend is the uh, 11th and the 12th, and for our Sunday music, our lineup begins with glory and praise to our God. And that in our, in our Breaking Bread is number 547. And choral praise is number 381. So turn to 547 or 381 and we'll sing it together. We'll do, do two verses. <laughs> Acclamation. Hit it. <laughs> spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. 
Some fell on rocky ground. Sure, I got that right. Uh, so we're going to the so and the birds came up and it up. Yes. So uh, some fell on rocky ground where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell along thorns and thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit a hundred or sixty or thirty fold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The disciples approached him and said, Why do you speak to them in parables? And he said to them in reply, Because knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven has been granted to you, but to them it has not been granted. To anyone who has, more will be given, and he will grow rich. For anyone who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because they look but do not see, and hear, but do not listen and understand. Isaiah's prophecy is fulfilled in them, which says, You shall indeed hear, but not understand. You shall indeed look, but never see. Gross is the heart of this people. They will hardly hear with their ears. They have closed their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts, and be converted, and I heal them. But blessed are your eyes, because they see, and your ears, because they hear. Amen. I say to you, many prophets and righteous people longed to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. Hear then the parable of the sower. The seed sown on the path is the one who hears the word of the kingdom without understanding it. And the evil one comes and steals away what was sown in his heart. The seed sown on rocky ground is the one who hears the word and receives it at once with joy, but he has no root and lasts only for a time. When some tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, he immediately falls away. The seed sown among thorns is the one who hears the word, but then worldly anxiety and the lure of riches choke the word, and it bears no fruit. But the seed sown on rich soil is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields a hundred or sixty or thirty fold. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So what a wonderful, wonderful, you know, we, we've, we've heard it so many times. Uh, at Catholic Leadership Institute, we use this quote quite often um, when we're doing parish planning, because the thought is, is where are we going to find the rich soil? How can we prepare our hearts to be rich soil and our minds to be rich soil? Um, are we getting into the word? Are we praying on a regular basis? Are we sharing our faith with someone else? Um, what are we doing to tend our garden? in order to, to, for the, uh, the Word of God and the work of God uh, to be able to uh, take root in us and then for us to bear fruit and, and spread it to others. So, terrific. So I would encourage you to go back and read that again, if you wish. Uh, but just think about uh, the wonderful parable of the sower. Speaking of which, our preparation of the gifts, not surprisingly, is seed scattered and sown. It's number 354 in our Breaking Bread. And the choral praise, it's 530. So 354, let's turn to that now. And here we go.
didn't do that. Not that we didn't stay away from it for any particular reason. We just hadn't discovered it. And it's like, it was really nice. We used to do it with the kids, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So the, the communion hymn is Pescador de Hombres, or Lord, You Have Come, number 502, in our Breaking Bread, 502. Or the choral praise is 491. So 502. Open my eyes, number 393. So 393, we should do a little bit of it. Um, I like the communion meditations because it's during the time that the, the vessels are purified and fathers are, are now washing their hands uh, even more so these days and, and going down to sit and, and to meditate a little bit before we have the final dismissal. So open my eyes, number 393 in our breaking bread or 426 in our choral praise. to be able to, 
to see and to hear and to feel uh, him in a, in a greater way. Awesome. And then we close with, oh, bless the Lord, number 560. So 560. We'll go to that. opportunity to be together, whether it be remotely, whether it be surrounded by your family and friends and loved ones, um, for all of those who are in need of healing, for all of those who are going through some sort of struggle and decision making, uh, that the right decisions be provided. Um, and we take a moment to pray for those things that are on our hearts. And we lift them up to you, Lord. And we look forward to a beautiful time together again next week. And hope to see all of you very soon. Amen. Amen. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So you want to say any words while I go around to turn off the camera? No, we love you. And we hope that you have a really great week. Take care now. Bye.